Hello, my name is Brian Culbertson and welcome to I Love Inns. You know today many couples are trying their hand at buying and running bed and breakfast inns all over America. If you could avoid the pitfalls and learn the keys to success before you jumped in with all your retirement savings, well that would be a good thing, right? Today we're going to visit a very successful bed and breakfast in the beautiful Gold Rush country of Northern California. The Swan Levine House located in Grass Valley wasn't always a financial success. You will learn valuable insights to the nature of the bed and breakfast industry from inn owners Howard Levine and Peggy Swan. When we first uh, looked into this business, business uh, our concept was more a uh, boarding house art studio. There were very few inns or bed, bed and breakfasts at the time. The Jones brothers, two young doctors, Stanford graduates, bought the building in probably 1906 and converted it to a hospital and named it after their father, W.C. Jones. So it was the W.C. Jones Memorial Hospital until 1968. We were a surprise to the community when we came. So it's something that you want to look at uh, when you're getting your permits, sort of learn about the community a little bit before you talk to them. We didn't do a really good job at that. You know, we were young artists driving Volkswagens coming to a mountain community that was a gold mining town that uh, was just coming out of, uh, just growing after years of kind of a slow time. So we come to town and we want to do an art school and we want to do a boarding house. And they're like, who are you? We thought at first that we could earn a living from the house and you know we had enough money to renovate it, which of course when we bought it, the price of sheetrock went up four times from a buck a sheet to four dollars a sheet. And we thought we had enough money and a little nest egg to do it and we could support ourselves here. Well, of course, that wasn't true. When I think of a bed and breakfast, I think of a warm and cozy home with down comforters on the bed, roaring fireplaces, good friends, and of course, the breakfast. Hearty and abundant food prepared with loving care by the owners. When Howard and Peggy first spotted the kitchen in this old Victorian, there was no doubt that the room would eventually become the focal point of the inn. Okay, so I have these tortillas ready, and I'm going to put this over here because it's got a... Cooking breakfast is like making art, you know, it's a little sculptural thing. I have kids who have grown up on some of the breakfast, like huevos rancheros, the way I make it. And when they come, they say, that's what they want for breakfast. If I ask them, they'll say, Howard, will you make me huevos today? We try to have everybody seat pretty much at the same time. We say 8.30, so, so you got to get them started. And, you know, you know, it's pretty lively sometimes. And there's days when it's 11.30 and they're still there. <laughs> Running a bed and breakfast can be a rewarding lifestyle, but the adventure can also have its pitfalls. Would Howard and Peggy Levine go back and do it all over again if they had the chance? Was the journey worth everything they had to go through as they worked to live their dream? You be the judge. I think we'll do it a few more years. I mean, uh, we've got a good 10 more years at least in us, and, and we don't know how to do anything else. We really like doing it, you know, and, until you're rolled into the uh, rest home. I'm not sure what else we'd do. It has everything we want. It just has a few extra rooms. <laughs> <laughs>